Welcome to our channel. In today's video, we will talk about how the human body uses electricity. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe so you can watch our upcoming videos. You can also support us on Patreon. Link is in description. So let's move to our video. Electricity is an essential force that permeates not only our environment, but also our very own bodies. Remarkably, our cells possess a unique capability to conduct electrical currents. These currents are vital for the proper functioning of our nervous system, enabling the transmission of signals throughout our bodies and to our brains. As a result, we can move, think, and experience various sensations. Now let's delve into how cells regulate these electrical currents. Within our bodies, certain elements such as sodium, potassium, calcium, and magnesium carry distinct electrical charges. These charged elements, known as ions, are utilized by nearly all our cells to generate electricity. To safeguard the contents of the cell, a cell membrane surrounds it. Composed of lipids, this membrane acts as a barrier, allowing only specific substances to enter the cell interior. Interestingly, the cell membrane not only serves as a gatekeeper for molecules, but also plays a crucial role in generating electrical currents. At rest, cells exhibit a negative charge inside, while the outside environment tends to be more positively charged. This disparity arises from a slight imbalance of positive and negative ions inside and outside the cell. By enabling the flow of charged ions through the membrane, cells achieve this separation of charges, resulting in the generation of electrical currents. The control of charged element flow across the cell membrane is facilitated by specialized proteins situated on the cell surface. These proteins, called ion channels, form openings that allow specific ions to pass through. When a cell is stimulated, it opens these ion channels, permitting positive charges to enter the cell. Consequently, the inside of the cell becomes more positively charged, triggering a cascade of electrical currents that manifest as electrical pulses known as action potentials. Our bodies rely on specific patterns of action potentials to initiate the appropriate movements, thoughts, and behaviors. Disruptions in these electrical currents can give rise to illness. For instance, in order for the heart to effectively pump blood, cells must generate electrical currents that coordinate the contraction of the heart muscle. Medical professionals can even observe these electrical pulses in the heart using a diagnostic tool called an electrocardiogram, ECG. Any irregularities in the electrical currents can hinder the heart muscle's proper functioning, potentially leading to a heart attack. This example underscores the critical role that electricity plays in both our well-being and the development of diseases. In conclusion, electricity permeates our bodies, enabling our cells to transmit signals and allowing us to perform essential functions such as movement, cognition, and emotion. Through the regulation of charged elements and the generation of electrical currents, our cells harness the power of electricity to sustain life. Understanding the intricate relationship between electricity and our bodies helps us appreciate the significance of electrical currents in maintaining health and combating disease. Thanks again for watching our video. See you soon till next video.